So let's talk about the Room of Spirit and Time, aka the Hyperbolic Time Chamber in Dragon Ball Super. And I'm going to cover a little bit of spoilers from episode 91 and 92 later in this video and I'll warn you about that when that comes around. So obviously the Room of Spirit and Time has been used in Dragon Ball Super a couple times now. And I feel like it's something that really should be forgotten about because it's at the point where it doesn't make a lot of sense for it really to be used, number one. And it's being used in the incorrect way, in my opinion. And I'm going to get into that. Obviously, you know, going back, though, primarily the Cell games is where we got our first glimpse of really what this time chamber can do for the Z Fighters. And it got good use with Goku, Gohan, Piccolo, Vegeta, and future Trunks. And then obviously in the Boo Saga, we saw that Go Ten and Trunks had used it. And, you know, also along with Go Tanks and Piccolo and Super Boo. That's all fine and good. It was used for proper training to fight an immediate threat, really, and to train up for that, to be powerful enough to combat with Cell in the Cell Saga, and for Goten and Trunks to train themselves as Gotenks and really get that, they learn Super Saiyan 3 in the chamber. But you guys know all this stuff already. And then, of course, the door to the chamber was destroyed, and then, you know, Super Boo and the other people in that chamber at that time, Gotenks and Piccolo, all get out by ripping a hole in the dimension and kind of getting out of there. Good, the chime chamber's done. It served its purpose very well, and I think it was good to leave it there and not really bring it back. Because the thing about the time chamber is it's so... You can manipulate it so much, and what I mean by that is you can put any character in there for a year as long as they can withstand the elements in there and make them super strong and there's so many characters that should go in there that haven't because really it would be hard to really put that in the story and you know show like okay this episode we're putting this guy in the chamber and this the next episode we're putting this guy in there you know for me it's just not feasible to go and and look around every corner and get every character possible in there and just train them it just doesn't work like that and it's simpler as a story to just have it be destroyed like it was and leave it that way so you don't have to worry about it and maybe some people will be like well you know it's cool they're bringing back some of the older stuff yes but for this it's just one of those things that i feel like just could have been left alone in episode 30 of dragon ball super we learned that dende had fixed the time chamber and goku and vegeta are now going there to train for three years but remember they can only stay there for a total of two otherwise the door closes on them we know the rules of the chamber some people might speculate that dende altered the time chamber but there's no evidence of that i think it's just one of the things where they're like we're gonna bring it back and we're just gonna roll with it so yeah that doesn't make any sense like how they're gonna stay for three years maybe that you know we saw them come back with the beards goku was into the transmissioning can he instant transmission out of the chamber and to any power source he locates I guess that's feasible. Are they really thinking of that when they're writing the story? I don't really know. But I don't want to make the idea of the chamber not making sense anymore to be the main focus. I just think that it's unnecessary to have this in the story and it's being misused. And the reason why is because, again, so many other characters could use the time chamber. And here's where we get into the nice little spoilers from 91 and 92. You've probably already seen these. They're from the last week. In episode 91, we do once again have Vegeta going to train in the time chamber so this will be his fifth time in the chamber more than anyone else and in episode 92 we have Majin Buu being asleep for two months the problem with this is that the time chamber now with the stuff in the Goku Black arc and now here with this new episode 91 Vegeta uses the chamber as a means to train that's fine but he's the only one that's doing it and that's just really weird to me and it doesn't flow very well and it just comes across as him using a little cheat code I guess instead of finding a different way to train and in the case of Majin Buu he's not gonna wake up for two months why don't we just put him in the chamber again it's one of those situations where the writing staff Toriyama everyone that's doing the story Maybe they're not thinking of all the options, but it's still here in Super, it's only being used by Vegeta. That's why I don't like it. And I know that's, I, I'm sure it's not going to be like that all the time if the time chamber keeps being used. But it's kind of like Piccolo and Gohan go to train. Why would they not use the time chamber? It just doesn't make any sense. And I know I have to turn my brain off. 
but it's just one of those things where it's like it'd be so much simpler if they just didn't have it and Vegeta trained some other way to get more powerful. And I guess Dende must have fixed the chamber again because remember in the Goku Black arc, Vegeta blew it up completely when he was training. And maybe that was a way to escape the chamber because of the whole two-year rule. Or he just blew it up because he was so powerful. But he could have just punched a hole in the, the dimension like Gotenks. So that was my little discussion on the Room of Spirit and Time, aka Hyperbolic Time Chamber in Dragon Ball Super. I think I covered about everything I wanted to. If I missed anything important, let me know down below. Let me know you guys' thoughts down below as well. Do you agree with what I'm saying here? Do you think the Time Chamber is being misused? Let me know your thoughts down below. But other than that, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching this video as always. And of course, I'll catch you guys later.